Hello and welcome to this video on bias and variance trade off by IntelliPad. As a student working on data science projects, you always want to build models that can learn from data and make accurate predictions, right? But how do you measure how well your model performs and how do you balance the trade off between fitting the data too closely or too loosely? Today, with this particular video, we are going to do a thorough theoretical and technical exploration of this bias and various trade off concept. We will start with what is bias and variance and then we will understand the concept of bias and various trade off with the help of simple diagrams and also implement it using python. And at last we will also look into some of the methods using which we can reduce the bias and various trade off. But before we do that make sure to enable both the subscribe button and bell icon for IntelliPad YouTube channel so that you won't miss any updates coming from our end. Okay guys. Let's start this topic with a small intro so that we get an idea about what is bias and various trade-off before we start with the basics. So the bias and various trade-off is basically a fundamental concept which describes the relationship between a model's complexity, its accuracy on training data and its ability to generalize to any unseen data. And this is essentially a balancing act between two sources of error that is bias and variance. So generally, these are the two sources of error that affect our model's predictions. Right. Now let's begin with the basics and we'll see how they make a difference to our machine learning model. So let's first start with what is bias? So bias is nothing but a difference between the average prediction of our model and the correct value that we are trying to predict. Like as you can see in this graph, how far does a machine learning model's predictions deviate from the actual values? So this is defined as the disparity between the correct values and the values predicted by our model. And as if you are talking about bias, there are two types in it, high bias and low bias. So high bias makes a strong assumption about the data, oversimplifying it and ignoring the complex patterns that were present in the data. Whereas low bias makes a fewer assumptions about the data, allowing for flexibility and can capture a complicated patterns in the data. And that's why it is recommended that an algorithm should always be low bias to avoid the problem of underfitting. Now let's look into what is variance. So variance is basically the variability of model's predictions for a given data point or a value that tells us the spread of our data. So as you can see in this graph, how scattered model's predictions are from the actual values. And it is typically estimated on unseen independent or validation data sets only. And if you're talking about variance, here are also there are two types in it, high variance and low variance. High variance in a model means it has learned the noise and irrelevant data in the training set leading to the overfitting. Whereas low variance in a model means it is learned the underlying patterns in the training data and it is not too sensitive to the noise. So the model with high variance has a very complex fit to the training data and thus it is not able to fit accurately on the data which it hasn't seen before. So as a result, such models perform very well on training data but have a high error rates on test data. And when a model is on high variance, it is said as overfitting of data. So don't worry, as we move forward in this video, we will try to understand both overfitting and underfitting better with the help of examples and all. So make sure you stay tuned with us till the end. Right. Now let's jump on to our main agenda point that is what is bias and variance trade-off. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, the bias and variance trade-off is basically a fundamental concept in machine learning and statistics. And it basically refers to the delicate balance between the two sources of error in a predictive model, that is bias and variance. Okay, so bias which represents the error due to overly simplistic assumptions in the learning algorithm. High bias which can cause the model to underfit the data and leading to poor performance on both training and unseen data. 
on the other hand variance represents the model's sensitivity to small fluctuations in the training data high variance can lead to overfitting where the model captures noise in training data and performs poorly on new or unseen data and if you're talking about the goal is to find the right level of complexity in a model to minimize both bias and variance and achieving a good generalization to new data and balancing these two factors is essential for building models that perform well on variety of data sets and if we see it in one sentence then the balance between the bias error and the variance error is the bias variance trade off okay now let's look into this pulse eye diagram which explains the trade off better so in the center that is pulse eye is the model result we want to achieve that perfectly predicts all the values correctly and as we move away from that pulse eye our model starts to make more and more wrong predictions so here you can see four models first model with high bias and low variance second model with high bias and high variance third model with low bias and low variance and our fourth model with low bias and high variance right so here a model with low bias and high variance that is this model predicts points that are around the central generally but are pretty far away from each other and a model with high bias and low variance so in this model as you can see the points are pretty far away from the bull's eye but since the variance is low the predicted points are closer to each other and if we look at this model with low bias and low variance that are around the central generally and also having a very minimum distance between them is the balanced model that is neither overfitted nor underfitted so here this model with the high bias is known as underfitting and the model with the high variance is known as the overfitting of the data and now with these diagrams you can clearly understand when a model is said to be underfitted when it is said to be overfitted of the data and when it is said to be as the balanced one right so these are the two errors in bias and variance that i talked before in this video that is underfitting and overfitting so underfitting basically happens when a model is unable to capture the underlying patterns of the data and these models usually have a high bias and low variance and it generally happens when we have very less amount of data to build an accurate model or when we try to build a linear model with a non linear data and if we talk about the overfitting this happens when our model captures the noise along the underlying patterns in the data and it happens when we train our model a lot over noisy data sets so these models have a low bias and high variance so whenever there is a combination of low bias and low variance in a model we called it a generalized model and these are the models that give the best results to make any predictions so we need to find the good balance without overfitting and underfitting of the data okay now if i talk in terms of model complexity we can use the following diagram to decide on the optimal complexity of our model so this graph is a classic illustration of bias and variance trade off so what this graph actually says is that in machine learning there is always a trade off between bias and variance like a model with high bias will have a low variance but it will also make an underfitting errors whereas a model with high variance will have a low bias but will also make overfitting errors so the optimal model complexity is the point where the model has the lowest total error so that points comes somewhere to this as you can see optimal model complexity line here so here that point will come where the model has the lowest total error okay so here i have this small python code snippet uh, that help you understand this bias and various trade off so here first of all i have implemented all of the necessary libraries and prerequisites that i needed for this implementation i have imported numpy here matplotlib and the two ml models that is uh, linear regression and a uh, decision tree regression here 
and after that here I have created 100 evenly spaced points between 0 to 10 and then I have generalized linear and non-linear complex data with the noise in this section here and after that I have created the list of our two models that is linear regression and a decision tree and after that I have created here the list of our two models that is linear regression and a decision tree regression and after that here I have created a loop through each model and I have trained model and predicted both linear and complex data and then finally I have plotted the result here for linear model and for the complex model here so now let's run this code snippet and see the output for it okay guys so here in this initial graph you can see how both the linear and complex models having a big difference in their true data and the predicted one right you can see true data is in blue line and the predicted one in the orange in both of these graph you can see a big difference in them right but in the second graph you can see how true data and predicted ones are balanced here you can see both these lines true data and predicted are little balanced than the previous one here and in same as in complex model you can see they are more balanced than the previous one right so that is basically the trade-off between bias and variance okay now let us move forward and see how to reduce this trade-off so there are several techniques that can help you reduce the trade-off between bias and variance and help you improve your model's performance so the first method is cross-validation so in this method we split our data into multiple subsets and use some of them for training and some of them for the testing data set which can help us avoid the overfitting or underfitting of the data next method is regularization so regularization is basically a method of adding a penalty term to your model's objective function that reduces the magnitude of model's parameters by preventing it from becoming too complex and reducing the variance and coming to our third method which is ensemble methods so in this ensemble method it involves combining multiple models with different biases and variances into single model with lower bias and variance which leverage the strengths of different models to reduce the error so understanding the bias variance trade off is crucial for building any accurate and generalizable models in machine learning and it also helps us to navigate complex relationships between models complexity, training data and prediction performance. So that's all we have for this video. I hope you got a good understanding about bias, variance, why do we need bias variance trade-off and what actually bias variance trade-off is. So thanks for staying with us till the end and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow way. And also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular updates like this. Thank you so much. Just a quick info guys, Intellipath offers machine learning course in collaboration with IIDM Pravartak. Through this course, you will learn various algorithms and machine learning techniques such as supervised, unsupervised learning, natural language processing and much more from the IIT Madras faculty and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given below in the description. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page given below in the description and take a first step to career growth in the field of machine learning.